Hi everyone, uh, I'm Lucas. This is my van. Um, I converted it about four years ago. I got it from a utilities company, as you can see by the lights on the roof, which still work, by the way. And I converted it into my little home on wheels. Uh, for this van, I had a couple of requirements. I wanted to be able to sleep comfortably in a big bed that uh, can be converted in less than 10 seconds. I also wanted a big kitchen area with space to move around. I wanted to sit three people comfortably inside of the van. I also wanted a shower option and a place to store my bike inside of the van safely. And I wanted to fit all of that into a short wheelbase model. So this is a Ford Transit uh, 2008, the Mark 7 model. It has a 2.2 uh, liter engine and the cargo area is about three meters long, which makes the entire vehicle about five and a half meters long which makes it quite nimble and agile and easy to maneuver around. So without further ado, let's start with the tour. So as far as the layout goes, it's quite simple. Uh, we have the swivel seat here, which opens up the space. Um, on this side, we have the kitchen with a bunch of different drawers for your cutlery, for your pots and pans. Uh, we have a nice little wine rack here, as well as a cabinet that holds uh, the trash cans. Two trash cans for recycling purposes, obviously. Right here we have a fridge. We have a big sink here uh, for washing dishes. And then we have some overhead cabinets right here. Some of them have uh, two levels inside of them. Um, and then when we move over here, we have this little bench area with a little cabinet here underneath that opens up like so for your shoes or whatever you want to have laying around. And besides that, uh, we have a little porta potty toilet um, for when you have to go on the roads. So in this van we went for the white walls with a darker ceiling and the matching countertops uh, which is nice in such a small space because it makes the space look a lot bigger than it actually is. We also spent a lot of attention trying to cover as many of the exposed pieces of metal as possible using four-way stretch carpets as well as the wood cutting out all sorts of weird shapes and forms. So for the table, we have a lagoon table that's hidden away right here behind the kitchen countertop. We take it out quite easily, we remove this and then we take it out and then we try to set it up. Right here is the, the leg, so we take it out here, install the leg. And then we just pop on the table, like so. For the bed, um, in this composition, it's quite nice to take a nap, but it's too narrow to actually sleep. So the way we convert the bed is we take this little guy, it here, move this out of the way, lift this up, two legs go down and we have a length bed of about 170 by 2 meters 
side of the trunk we have our outdoor shower right here uh, with a little boiler so you can have hot water as well as our bike tray which allows you to store the bike easily on this side uh, we have our water inlets uh, which allows us to fill the water tank of 75 liters in terms of utilities in this van, we have our 75 liter clean water tank. We have a 25 liter dirty water tank, which we just remove by taking it out of the van and empty, emptying it easily. In terms of battery system, it's quite simple. We have a 100 amp hour battery. Uh, we have a solar panel on the roof, 175 watts, as well as a split charger. So the battery gets charged uh, through the solar when you're camping or through the alternator when you're actually driving. This was my van. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If uh, you would also like a custom van built, don't hesitate to contact me through the details below and we'll get in touch. Thank you.